Alright, alright, hey, what's going on? It's Ben here. I'm bringing to you a Hearthstone Wild gameplay, and this time playing with Seathung Warrior. Definitely a cool deck to play in Wild because you have Despite, so that gives you extra synergy with the Acolyte, probably a little bit more resistant to aggro. But the best thing about it is that you can play pretty much pretty much all the best cards that you can play. Oh, Arcane Missiles, that's a little bit weird. I guess he just doesn't want to pass this turn, but it's still a little bit strange. I'm just going to coin out the Brand Bronx Spear. This sets up for a Disciple of C... Uh, not Seathon, Cthune for the kill on the Mana Worm. Otherwise, I could just play the Disciple. The worst thing that could happen is some sort of Flame Cannon, because he can't really do anything like Frostbolt Ping, because he doesn't have enough mana to do so. So the worst thing that could happen is definitely the Flame Cannon, and the hope is that he doesn't have it. Now, definitely this deck revolves around getting value out of Sea Thun. Not Sea Thun, I keep on saying Sea Thun, but it's actually Cthune. Your, the point of the deck is to get as much value out of your Cthune minions, and your Cthune, of course, if you can get the Cthune at the as a win condition. Oh, Arcane Blast, that's pretty intense. Doubling up. Oh man, he's really depending a lot on this Mana Worm. And it is dealing quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to use a Cthune on the Mana Worm here. If he uses a ping on the Cthune's Disciple, that's definitely okay for me. Because that means he's not putting any more pressure on the board. Although this Mana Worm is doing quite a bit of damage. <laughs> I have to save myself. I guess it's still best to play the Cthune Chosen. Next turn I do have the Cthune Chosen and Execute on the follow-up. Hopefully I don't die with like two fireballs. Uh, I guess that's a little bit of damage. Woo! But it seems like he doesn't really have the guys to do so. Fireball and Frostbolt does kill me. Do I want to play around that though? Yes, I do want to play around that because that's pretty much his. That's pretty much the only way he can win. So I'm going to play around it. And he's been pretty much leveraging this Mana Worm as much as he can. So I think the possibility of having Frostbolt and Fireball is very, very high because he didn't play anything else. I mean, a Water Elemental. That's eh. yeah. I'm not really too worried about it. I could use Ravaging Ghoul and Execute this turn. Yeah, I'm just going to do that, just to make sure that he doesn't get anything going. I do have a Death Spite that I want to keep using. If he drops a Dr. Boon, then I'm in quite a bit of trouble. But I have an Ancient Shield Bearer, so that's fine. Acolyte Pain? That's a little bit weird in a Temple Mage. I guess he, guess, I guess he guesses that he needs the extra stuff. Man, it's going to ride off that Acolyte Pain into victory, huh? But I have too much armor, so I'm going to stabilize really, really easily. I'm back at 27 health. That's pretty insane. <laughs> and I have a Justice card just in case, you know, things still are troublesome. Oh, that looks like a Frostbolt or a Forgotten Torch. That's pretty much a Frostbolt. Hmm, that's an interesting play. Alright, let's continue to clean up this board as much as I can. I guess I'm just going to go for the biggest clean that I can. Yeah, there's nothing really much Temple Mage can do. I'm completely outvaluing the Temple Mage, especially with the weapons. Two for one is pretty e easy against Temple Mage if they can't get the frost going. Yeah, he doesn't seem like he likes the situation that he's in. I like the situation I'm in because Just Card True Heart is going to go bananas. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no way he's come back. I mean, he doesn't know. Well, he probably knows it. There's no way. Unless this guy's going to hit me like 15 times. My man! Yeah, but the burn going to- that's a lot of burn. Yeah, the burn going face isn't really going to do much though. <laughs> yeah, he's out of cards. There's no way he can come back here. Not to mention I have more armor here. 
That's just gross. Yeah, I really like Cthulhu. Oh! I actually didn't consider that. I probably should have considered Yogg. This is actually the first time that Yogg has happened to me, I think. Uh, heal me up, please? Or this guy, I mean, this... Oh, well, I guess... Anything can happen. Oh, snappers. So I guess I would want to get the Ancient Shear Bearer back if it is a freezing. Oh yeah. Yeah, still really not much hope. <laughs> yeah, well that's his last hope for victory, the Yogg. At this point, it's kind of tough. Oh wow. Well, that's not fair. That's my card. <laughs> Alright, no wonder why he's still playing. He has, <laughs> he's got Cthulhu up his sleeve. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? What's going on here? <laughs> he got Cthulhu and Twin Emperor. What the heck? <laughs> I'm amazed that I'm still in this game. Uh, let's just see if it takes it out. They get out! Oh, too bad. I guess he could trade with Dr. Boom, but alright. Now it's off the right. He got Cthun and Twin Emperor. I didn't. Well, yeah, I didn't get those cards because I didn't draw them yet, but that's still insane. I can't believe I'm still winning. <laughs> I guess I should draw first, so I can grab. Alright, shield slam. That's my last shield slam, but I think I'm okay because I do have this tank up. So there should be no problems with getting armor for the shield slam. Anyway, I have 22 armor right now. I got 30 from the ancient shield bears alone. That is pretty darn good. I serve a fire lord. Alright, that's a good draw. Yeah, but this feels like he's avoiding it inevitable. Oh, Roaring Torch. I have a lot of I have a lot of weapons around. It is amazing, my man. This is going to go into fatigue. This is actually pretty interesting how this matchup goes. Although the only reason why he managed to stay this far in is because of Wow, he got ten health also because of Ancient Shield Bear! How do you even get that? Wait, 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 how do you get an ancient shield bear? Oh yeah, he got like thought steel also. What's going on here, man? I really <laughs> Those are like three best cards in my deck. <laughs> or the best minions at least. Uh, what's going on? Now this is absolutely nuts. Yogg-Saron does so much. Oh, well, that was a pretty good Yogg-Saron. Yeah, it was like the best Yogg-Saron. But I'm still in the game. I guess he could have Antonitis and then I'd still be in trouble. No Antonitis, please? Yeah, looking at his win condition, it's pretty much going to be Antonitis and Dr. Boom. Although I do have a Shield Slam that can pretty much get rid of anything. Alright, Frostbolt. But that means I can kind of take it out. Beckoner of Evil! I guess it's a Cthulhu turn. Hmm, Twin Emperor. Nah, I'm, going to, I'm just going to clear off the board here. There's no need to preserve the Cthulhu for a huge Cthulhu because in this matchup, it's kind of hard for him to get rid of like big Cthulhu's. Alright, Warrior Mirror Match, that means I do want to get the big bombs and Acolyte Pain pretty much to continue to draw into more cards. Hopefully it's Patron Warrior, because that would be really really easy to wreck. Alright Bran, that will 
Maybe be good, maybe not be good. Oh, he has a six drop. What could it be? Okay, so this is like Nazoth. Nazoth warrior. Which is pretty tough. I do have a death bite which does pretty much clean it up pretty nicely. And next turn I do have a Dr. Boom, so I'm in good I'm in a good position. I could Bran into Cthun's Chosen. That means the next turn I can follow up with a twin emperor. Not sure how that's going to work out too well though. Alright, so he's using the blood to Icar on it already, so it's going to get some value out of it at the very least. Well, this could go into fatigue, so what if I just burned him a little bit? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'm just going to go with the Ravaging, Ravaging Ghoul then. Because this lets me clear off the board and develop a Cthulhu's Chosen. Even though he draws an extra card, this might go into fatigue, so this is actually beneficial to me if he draws too many extra cards. Ah, I also burned a card. That was unintentional, but eh, I guess it works out. Well, that is a weird inclusion though, having a fierce monkey. Especially in the Doth Warrior. I guess this is Temple Warrior then. Yeah, this is definitely a Temple Warrior. <laughs> no question about it. Ooh, that's nasty. Although he should have played that first. A little bit of misplay, but I guess it's not too big of a deal to him. I guess playing the Cthulhu's Chosen is not bad. It kind of fills out my curve in the best possible manner. <laughs> I might be using a Brawn with the uh, Twin Emperor next turn. Well, not next turn, but in two turns, which is pretty insane. Like, Bran and Twin Emperor is possibly the best combo in the world. There's no better combo. Except for maybe Prop Rodney Berserker charge, but I mean, I mean, Warsong Commander, but you know, that's not in the game anymore, so. Oh, that's tough! But I do have the XQ, so I'm, there's no worries really. I wonder if he's going to smack it. Alright, that's probably the good play. So I'm going to take 8 damage regardless from the Ragnaros. I guess I would prefer if it hit my face, because uh, that means I have to use a Fire War X charge. It's actually kind of questionable which one is better to have more Boom Bots or more Twin Emperor. I think having the extra 4 6 is better. So I'm just going to execute it. Dr. Boom! Wow, that was really lucky. I guess not really lucky, but yeah, that's totally lucky. I guess it'll be quite tragic if he does actually run Brawl. But this is Temple Warrior, so it's quite unlikely. And I've gotten most of his big guys. Oh, he doesn't have Execute? Oh, he definitely has Execute. But this Taunt Wall is pretty insane, so... I am not afraid here. Oh yeah! Triple Emperor! It would be insane if they had a third emperor, like twin emperor Velcro, twin emperor Vaxnash, and then lost third emperor Bran, Bronxbeard. Behold, the armies oh no! Alright, that's okay. <laughs> that could have been a lot worse. Oh, that is kind of bad already. Alright, so he's building up that frothing. So it'll trade in with one of the emperors. No, yeah, why don't you attack into a different guy? I would much appreciate that. Alright, that's the first shield block. Looks like I'm going to take the damage on that guy. Oh snap! That was perfect. Disciple? Alright, this should be hard for Temple Warrior to come back because he has no tempo now. Not to mention I have a 14-14 Cthulhu. With a Bran on the board, wait a minute. Oh, I guess I did miss lethal. Well, it could have been lethal. It depends on whether one of the dudes survived, which is actually pretty high, I think. So I guess it's not lethal. Yeah, I think maybe dropping the Cthulhu last turn was a better play because it was just... 
clear off the board and everything. Well, that's cruel. <laughs> <Good thing. laughs> 28 Cthune. Aw, oh, what, what a slow frothing burn. Oh yeah! Was that perfect? Alright, against Priest I think grabbing the card draw is pretty important here. Oh, both Acolyte Pains. Well, this should accelerate my game plan very, very quickly. Yeah, all card draw and the Cthun's chosen, which is pretty insane. 4-2 with Divine Shield is definitely worth the one mana over the Scarlet Crusader. Oh, this should be pretty nice with Acolyte Pain contesting it, although it does depend on whether he has a Valence Chosen or not. But I do have a Fire War Axe, so there's no need to worry. Welcome to the Inception! Yeah, I'm definitely still going to attack into it because I'm very afraid of a card called Valence Chosen. Don't want the Acolytes to die to one thing. I guess he could have Death Lord. That's still pretty good for me. Oh yeah. Smack him down. And now I have my weapons. This is pretty perfect. If I can get another Cthun minion then... I am set because that means I can act that activates my ancient shield better bearers and whatnot. All right. Oh yeah, I'm so set, so set now. <laughs> and I did draw Cthulhu, so at least it won't like bring an outrageously outrageous thing. Yeah, that was alright. Guess I'll drop back. Nah, I'm not going to drop the acolyte. All right, shield bearers are ready for action. I probably want to use my War Axe on the Shredder somehow. Mm, he's going to go for value here. I can respect that. Hmm, maybe I should just Brawl here, huh? I wouldn't necessarily get a better Brawl than this, but nah. I think drawing three cards with two Acolytes is fine. I just want to cycle that guy out. I have some big big minions coming up so I don't really need to really worry about the value of my acolyte. Shredders is a little bit of a strange inclusion into Priest and he didn't seem to grab him off of anything in particular. Oh Ravaging Ghoul. That's not very useful right now. I wonder if I should use a Death Bite. Well, it's not really clear what's my follow-up here. I guess I could just Death Bite the Pilot Shredder, but I think developing a big guy is nice. It's kind of weak to Valen's Chosen, but... Yeah, that's, it is weak to Valen's Chosen. <laughs> oh, but he's double trading, so that's fine by me. Fine by me. Oh. Well, that's brutal. Good thing I have Shield Slams. How do you even get that? Oh yeah, that came out of the Pi Shredder. Unfortunately, I have too many of these like removal cards. Eh, I need more threats, unfortunately. Let's draw the cards first. Yeah, I'm just going to use a Whirlwind off of the Death Bite to clear off the board. Although I could have just played a Ra Ravaging Ghoul to do that. No, I couldn't have because I wouldn't have enough mana. Alright, I also have a Cthun now. Although I think I want to get maximum value out of it. Eh, I probably should have held on to that one of the Acolytes of Pain so I can use it with a Ravaging Ghoul. Now I d I'm out of card draw pretty much. Oh yeah, he also has Entombs as well, so that's not pretty. Let's use a Slam here, just draw an extra card. Beckon of Evil? Alright, I'll just play out a Ravaging Ghoul here. Yeah, Cthun is definitely needed to win this game at this point. Uh, hopefully I don't draw into Brawl until like later. I have a lot of big cards. I have three big hitters. Dr. Boom, Ancient Shield Bearer, and the Empa. So it's not really a great situation for me. Ouch. But I have... Oh, I also have Justicar. So I have a bunch of cards that will help me out. 
Oh yeah. Thank you for letting me in. Alright, so this should prolong game so I can pretty much draw the rest of my deck. That means my Cthun also does like 32 damage. If the brand survives, of course. Although even if it doesn't, that means I can just go face and play the Cthun. This is pretty much my last bit. And Tomb on the brand. That means he can't get rid of these guys at all. All right, maximum pressure. <laughs> Got to follow up with a Kadun. Yeah, this should be pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, yeah, light bomb. Well played, well played my man. Well played. Woo! Kadun for the lethal. All right. Hey, welcome to the end of the video. If you enjoyed what you saw and want to see some more Hearthstone action, be sure to equip the Fiery War Axe. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, perhaps see some more Hearthstone videos or Duelist videos, be sure to smack that Gold Shower Footman. That was totally the wrong name, but I'll see ya!